Good morning everyone, Monday again, which means must be meatless Mondays. So the story with this morning is that I worked last night again and I was up early again yesterday morning. Tonight and this week I actually work all night shifts. So I've slept in big time this morning and it's actually about 11 a.m. Um, I was up till about 1 a.m. last night eating pizza and ice cream. Um, really sort of lethargic this morning just because I'm not used to sleeping so much. I figured I'll start the morning off, take the dog for a walk, and then get some breakfast. But actually, first thing, I might open a few parcels that arrived in the mail. Figured why not? Why not open them up on this video? So, first one is actually from iHerb. Better. These are the best. Oh yeah. Firstly, um, these are the stevia drops I love to use. Is a French vanilla version. It's just like a liquid form of stevia. Next, small order. Now I don't often get these, and I'm not the biggest fan, but sometimes it's really just great just to have up your arsenal, I guess you could say. No, I did say arsenal. Walden Farms Caramel Dip and Chocolate Syrup. So these are, um, a lot of people have probably heard of Walden Farms Zero Calorie Dips and Sweeteners. Really handy just to add on if you've got very low calories but want a bit of a topping. I really, really will use these because I know they're not good for you at all. That's the first parcel. Next one isn't really a parcel, but did a bit of shopping from the good team at Camera House especially the Launceston crew at Stellar's Camera House give you great advice and treat you like you are the Prince of England. Harry, I guess, we learn. Okay. First things first is just a new battery. You can never have too many camera batteries. Next thing is I got the EFS 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. It's quite a structured flat view footage on this at the moment. When I get the wide angle in, I'll be able to capture a lot more surface area and a lot more view around me. So what I'm actually gonna do is switch these out now. So you've got the footage on this compared to the footage on the 10 to 18. You ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. Look how much more space I've got. Zoomed out, zoomed in. Out, in. I don't, I, you know, like that's that theme in Step Brothers where they make the bunk bed and there's so much extra space in the room and they just go absolutely crazy. Look at all this more space. So Is much aerobics in here. So many activities. I can fit my whole body in here. Awesome. Thank you to the crew at Stallard's Camera House in Launceston. If you ever need anything in Tassie, I don't care if you live in Hobart, drive up to Stallard's in Launceston. Look at this. Sweden, we're coming for you. There you are. Wake up. So if you can see that, but 12 degrees, and we're not used to this with Tassie. Our last few weeks have been really, really miserable, so nice change of pace. Nothing special today, just the usual cereal. I reckon I'm going to use the MTS Whey today. Almost out though, that makes me sad. The worst thing when it's just all crumbs. Ugh.
the usual breakfast of the Wheat Bix Honey Bites, MTS Whey, all brand Blue Roots Almonds, and the coffee comes to about 552 calories. Eating my breakfast and admiring. Um, a lot of you have probably heard of Ben Brown. He's incredible. Just started an Arctic expedition. What a trip of a lifetime. Considering it's such a lovely day, I figured I may as well just do some work on my laptop. More travel stuff ready. Sweden is only about 19 days away now, which is mind blowing to think. In Sweden, I'm planning, planning on, I can't promise anything, planning on videoing every single day, uploading a vlog for each day of that trip. So I'm in Sweden from the 1st till the 25th. I fly into Melbourne and I'm planning on spending a few days or a week in Melbourne. So it'll pretty much be the entire month of October. I'll be aiming to vlog the whole thing. Now this will be obviously a challenge for me because the longest I've only done is Sydney, which is a five days, I think. You know, it's all a part of the journey, all a part of learning experience. So I'm gonna see if I can do it. Really, really excited. All right, so it's now about half past Two, I have to head to work at seven o'clock tonight. I'm doing seven till 11. So I'm gonna go to the gym just before work. Considering I'll go to the gym at about 3, 30, 4 o'clock, I'll eat my sort of pre-gym meal now, thinking of making a frittata. So I'm just gonna whip that up now. Might have made a bit of a mistake because it's actually quarter past three and this is gonna probably take 20, 25, 30 minutes to cook. Might have to absolutely power out the gym session today. It's actually looking pretty close to being done. Yes. It add some beetroot and balsamic. The red rooster sriracha. Now you have, check out that frittata, only roughly 456 calories. I'm gonna go and enjoy this and then probably hit up the gym. All right, so I am back from the gym. It's now kicking on about quarter to six and considering I have to leave in about 45 minutes, I'm gonna have to really quickly whip up something. I'm actually just gonna do personal favorite of mine. It's literally just about 100 grams of carrots. Whiz them up in the food processor. Add that to the bowl, 80 grams of rolled oats. Mix that, add it to a bowl. Chuck in some milk and almond milk. Top with protein powder. I'm just getting rid of this Victory Labs chocolate pyrolyzed protein isolate just because I had a leftover from Arnold Classics in March. And 10 grams of almonds. Just get 50 grams of blueberries and defrost it. somewhat defrosted straight on top. Now, I know it's not aesthetic, but it is simple, it's quick. Now, calories for this, roughly 584 calories. Oh, I should add some Walden Farms, give me a second. On cereal, why not? I'm gonna go and enjoy this now, and then head off to work, and I'll check back in after work. All right, I am back from work. It's currently 20 past 11. I was actually at work and I was really craving baked oats. So I think I'm gonna make up a batch of baked oats. So let's give it a shot.
test out my new vanilla stevia drop. Back in repping that Captain America dressing gown. I just wanted to quickly say while the oats are cooking, I know I've mentioned this before and you're probably sick of me mentioning it, but I do just want to apologize that over the past couple of weeks and for the next probably two weeks, there really hasn't been much content going up on my YouTube channel. Just because I've been focusing so much on work, I feel as if, if I am gonna just keep uploading videos, they're not gonna be of any quality and that's not what I want. Bear with me and thank you for bearing with me. It shouldn't be too much longer now. Anyway else, keep on keeping on and the thing that's really motivating me with work is that I know that it's all going to go towards the Sweden trip and making that better for you guys. Damn hungry though, these oats are smelling so good. Hopefully they're not too long away now. I reckon that is looking done. Man, I wish you guys could smell this through YouTube. I wish that was possible because this smells phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Literally the perfect comfort food. And there you have a big dish of incredible baked oats with strawberries and banana. Oh, it says today because it's actually 2.19 a.m. So it's actually the day before, but comes to 588 calories. And that brings my day's total to 2,185 calories, 153 protein, 286 cup, and 52 fat. I'm gonna go and enjoy these oats now, guys. Thanks so much for watching this fourth week now of Meatless Mondays. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, be sure to follow me on my social media accounts, especially Instagram and Snapchat at Lewis underscore eats. Thanks always for watching guys and I'll see you on my next video.